is going to be about my favorite lipstick like line ever. I do love my Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks, don't get me wrong. But my favorite lipstick brand is actually Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I do. I'm wearing her brow pomade too, which is really nice. Just started getting into that. But um, I'm going to do a mixture of the liquid lipsticks that I got from Marshalls for $8 a pop along with the mini liquid uh the mini lipstick sets from Sephora which I paid I, I want to say $18 for the whole look uh the lipstick set which they're minis they're not huge sizes um actually they might be full size because it doesn't say that it's a travel size anyway so the ones I got from Marshalls I'm going to go first with those and swatch these out so this is called Sugar Plum. Okay. That's Sugar Plum. Love it. Absolutely love it. This, the next one is called Ashton, which I think is going to be one of my favorites just because of the color. I love nude colors. We got that. Then we have Party Pink. So this is a very vibrant pink here. To me it's like bubblegum pink. But it's definitely vibrant. Um, it's more pink than Rio. Rio is more of like a magenta pink. Um, this is Catnip, which is a light pink. I would, in comparison to that one. Still, still you know pigmented I can tell but it's gonna be lighter than that than what you see here more of like a mauve color there's catnip so it actually doesn't even look pink when you put it on which is crazy because the the uh the color in the bottle and the color on the box is definitely different than what comes out when you put it next to each other it doesn't look pink at all it's definitely more mauve. Um, the next color is Madison. This is purple for sure. This has got to be like a purple. So I've noticed that the wands are different in each one that I've tried so far. Like this one has the triangular wand. The other ones are flat surfaced. So I don't know if that's intentional or if it's suppo not supposed to be like that. I'm not too positive. If you know, let me know. This one's called Craft. So you see how like this one's like flat. The other ones were like the actual like wands that have, you know, the triangle tip in a way, like the angled tip. And this one's called Craft. So these colors, this color scheme is definitely more plum, not so much nude, but it's more of plum, purples, Got one shade of pink in there and one nude, but for the most part, these are like purple plum colors, which are still nonetheless very nice. So those are the ones I got for $8 each, which normally would run about $20 to $22 a pop. Now, these are the lipstick sets that I got from Sephora. So we're going to run through these. If you hear me like tossing and you hear noise, it's because... I literally unboxed everything and there's just so much stuff that boxes are just like all over the floor at this point. <laughs> they really are. So this came in one set. So you had Dead Roses, Kiss, Soft Pink, and Spice. So we're just going to run through these. Yeah, these are definitely minis. They're not full size. Um, so this is Dead Roses right here. So that's Dead Rose. We're starting right after this one. So these are mini lipsticks, which is explains why they were cheap. Um, the minis, it's, like I said, they're perfect for go-to stuff. So this is called Kiss, this one. So we've got Kiss right there and Dead Roses. This one is soft pink. Sorry, I just, I don't want to break the tip of the lipstick. So like, 
being really careful about how I apply them. And this one's called Spice. These are matte lipsticks. These are not lip glosses. They're not liquid lipsticks. They're just matte lipsticks. So I like these colors. These are nude colors. I love nudes, so that's definitely my thing. Um, so yeah. Now this is more of a pink plum, which is very similar to the ones that I have on my from the liquid lipstick, but these are just the lipstick set. So since these are mini, obviously you know that they're small, but they're perfect go-tos that you just put right in your bag or your little wristlet, um, just to always carry it with you. Because no one wants to carry a whole makeup bag anymore when they go out to dinner or on a date. You know, just having a few small sizes of the things that you love would really help because, you know, you don't want to be that crazy girl that decides to eat a burger on your date and you get clown face but then you have nothing to fix it afterwards <laughs> so it's always good to have travel sizes of things that you could fit anywhere um so the packagings are all the same even though the outside pink one was pink and one was gold but the packaging of them were actually the same um just one basically wanted to specify that one was a like plum color the other one was nude um for the outer packaging this one's called Cotton Candy that I'm going to show you. So this one's definitely a brighter pink. So you can see that there. This one's called Orchid. they're actually very similar in shade I would say orchid is just one tad bit brighter like darker than the other one this one's called plumera so this is definitely a plum color and these lipsticks are extremely buttery and smooth so it's like a plum red that you see there I know these swatches aren't perfect. They're not like what you see on Instagram where it's like perfect squares. But I'm giving you the best that I've got here. And this one's called Stargazer. Ooh. And that's Stargazer right there. So these are your colors. These are definitely pink plums and nudes all in between, between the lipsticks and the lip glosses. So that's, you know, something to really look into. Mind you, the liquid lipsticks I got for $8 a pop. These are minis. So the set of four minis came um, came for, I think, $18. So those are the mini ones. I think normally priced are way more than that. Um, so just definitely keep a lookout for that. Um, but Anastasia, I love her lipstick products, her liquid lipsticks, and her regular lipsticks. I have a whole bunch of them um, that I find at Marshalls, and there's a few of them that I've personally purchased. But I always try to find the sales because I really don't like spending 20 something dollars on just a lipstick, especially when I like a whole mess of shades. So finding those at Marshalls and TJ Maxx, those lipstick finds were really great. So keep a lookout. I know the also the last time I went to TJ Maxx and Marshalls after I did my haul, I found that they had her palette um subculture for on sale for thirty dollars or twenty twenty five dollar ish, somewhere between twenty five and thirty. Which normally that palette's about forty two to forty five dollars. So you would save ten to fifteen dollars, which is always a great steal. So that concludes it for my Anastasia, um palette the next ones that i'm going to show you in the next video are just going to be a mixture of a few things that i have left but um the other ones that i just recently did between the beauty and the beast the anastasia the kat von d those were a lot of products from one brand and i definitely just wanted to showcase that in each one so that's why that happened that way but the next one i'm going to do a mixture of my last few items that i have here and uh i hope you guys are actually enjoying these videos i'm doing a lot my throat is killing me but um, I wanted to just knock all this out of the park. I want you guys to really get a good idea of what I have. And maybe if there are some things that you like that you want to know about. Or maybe you, you want to see me do a look on any of these products that you actually see. 
All right, so stay tuned for my last video of the night. Um, so just keep a lookout for it and just stay tuned.